All right, we got a trifecta of people here. So, I have Hi, been, Mom. I have been a, a big proponent of green tea. Hi, Jamie. Hi, internet person that doesn't actually watch the video. First up, we have trade wins. <clears throat> Do you need to shake it first? Okay. I don't believe so. <laughs> you just uh, went all over it. my floor. I love it when we make a mess on Katie's floor. Indeed. Uh, you guys get so excited around me, I can't help it. Uh, oh, oh my. Green tea with honey. Who wants some? All right. Oh, that's, that's plenty. That's enough. That's plenty. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Can I have some more? We have like 20 yeah, more. Have more. We have like 28 <laughs> more things to drink before the night's over, and you're going to give me a, a half giant glass. Ooh, this smells delicious, guys. It's green tea with honey. Trade wins. Yes. So, Tim, uh, I've known you for quite a while now, and, and even back to those earliest meetings, you mm -hmm. were a green tea guy. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us the origin story? Do we have enough time to, to, to go that far back? There's really not much of an origin that, story. That, that, that first panel. Uh, yes. My buddy Will said, hey, try some green tea. I tried it, and I went... It's probably healthier than soda, so I stuck with it. Granted, there is a lot of sugar in this. There, there are green teas you can get that are sugar free. Yeah, you can just you know get the little packets and brew it yourself or whatever. Uh, one thing I wanted to do for this video and didn't. I'm a failure. Sorry. Great. Was to do uh, a self brew variety, but uh, that would be nice, man. Yeah, I, I would. You know, I, I may have not crushed it uh, in your dreams, but yeah, I would have given it an honest, you know, reaction. Now I will say uh, this is okay, but. Uh, with regard to the green teas, I'm finding this one to be a little tart, not quite up there with what I like uh, as much. I like the honey, um, and we'll see the barometer as we try these other flavors, these other brands out. Uh, for an introductory one, though, I'm, I'm behind this one. I like the honey uh, element. All right. Next up, we have the Arizona variety, which to me is the uh, standard bear er as I twist this cap off with one hand. Lipton is the standard you know what? on these, or are we missing a tea? We are missing one. Hold on, producers and executive committees. All right, she's gone. This is our opportunity. So now we can talk about, about boy stuff. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Uh, I don't know. about wieners and stuff. So Arizona, there. you see it's a standard bearer, and maybe in that okay. it's, it's the most common and easy to find, but it's also one of the cheapest, Tim. Yeah. Does that play in? Because I, I imagine this is, I, I think of Arizona as a pretty cheap label, a pretty, you know, does that mean it's subpar or is that? Uh, perhaps so. to me, it's one of those things that it's like, oh yeah, when I go into the dollar store, I know I can get like you know, a bottle that's not much smaller than this for relatively cheap. They have that can at the gas station for you usually less than a dollar. So for, for me, it's a positive. Uh, for I you, told I guess him not, so not to pour too much. No, no. I, the first one I had ice. That one I had no ice. That one, you know, it's I, too much. I want to be fair. Mm -hmm. The ice kind of like the flavor got lost in the ton of ice. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go all natural. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go all warm, just like a fresh summer's pee. Now that I've had them both without ice, yes, uh, I'm still behind trade winds. Now the really? second one's got the ginseng. It has more of a. If you're into the more natural. The more healthy uh, green tea, I could maybe see falling into the Arizona camp, but for me, the sweetness of the honey and the trade winds. Uh, Katie was kind enough to go and fetch us for perhaps which is the, the, the most well-known of all the tea Whoa, we had, a, we had a fifth entrant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a new challenger has arrived, Ryu. Did you have fun talking about <laughs> boy stuff while I was coming? No, stop. Stop. This is not alcohol. Wait, this one isn't just green tea, though. It says it's... Jesus Christ! It says it's... It's citrus green tea, uh, and there, it shows a lemon, a lime, and an orange. That's mm -hmm. three Pretty. elements. Now, typically, this one's my second place, and trade wins about in the distant third. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely be interested in seeing your reaction, Brian. Oh, I'm already seeing no, it. No, it's 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 it's, uh, it's it's definitely different from the first two. Uh, now, to me, this one's a little stickier. Oh. Uh, it, it's not something I, I like as much on really hot days where I think I'm going to be perspiring a lot. Uh, pungent is too strong a word, but there's definitely something that kind of, yeah. Not, not necessarily I suckers you up, this. but there is something that's a bit stingy. I don't know. It, I think it's the citrus. You're introducing acidic citrusy things like lemons to your mm -hmm. to your tea. Uh, um, I like the idea of the citrus, but I don't know. Uh, uh, trade winds is still the lead for me. Right. Now, for me, we're stepping into unexplored territory. Oh, I like that. Oh. I need a chaser after that. Really? Wow. 
All right. Uh, so this one is all natural mint and honey. I'll take the middle. Yes. Can you take a quick chase with me? No. Sweet. Uh, just sure. a little bit. Just a, just a, just a kiss. Mm-hmm. That's a chase you going, right? That's pretty good. On oh, the mint. Oh, is definitely. Yeah, we did it. I didn't, I didn't realize this was mint. Mint and honey. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's a different. It's a very different flavor than all the others. The mint is so mint that it almost puts us in another camp. It's hard to. Yeah. I don't know if it's fair to compare it to the other ones, but if we are, yeah, I like this one quite a good deal. It, it's very different. Is all I can say for it. I, I don't know if I was oh, regularly on it. I might. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm wading through the mar. I'm feeling my way. I might put it ahead of trade winds. I like the mint. Is that your honest feeling? <laughs> that, yeah, man. I, I, I would never tell a lie. Because next is honest tea. Oh, man. My nose is growing. Yeah. Uh, was it mint? They want to taste like toothpaste. Oh. I don't think there's any sugar in this one either. I think when, when they say honest and <laughs> organic, they left the sugar out. It says just a tad sweet, tad is underlined. So, yeah. Yeah. This is organic. Not mm -hmm. a problem. But, yes, they did. Uh, I want to check the, the sugar. What was the 70 calories like used for in this? Where are they from? <laughs> like seriously. There's 19 grams of sugar. Hmm. Well, uh, that's a lot. From from making the Arizona variety. Uh, this was made in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah, or a knockoff. Uh, there's like, you know, half a cup of sugar goes into that. Mm. So we so. used, yeah, we used to, I miss sugar. So, <laughs> suicide, you, you've already spoiled that. We're doing oh, that. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's you guys be uh, police again. We just got an explicit rating for that. Scratching no, so, nuts. Um, oh. It all tastes the Really? Say. I get like you know five ounces of the oh, the sugar one, and... yeah. All right, to green tea, which uh, they're not thanking me. Are for you green with envy, you two? We're talking about going green, you know. We, we are going green, man. Next time when you mess with my sugar, do it properly, okay? Obese grandma. Okay, that is awesome. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's yeah. pretty good. I, I'm, I'm on board. I'll co sign yeah. that. So, yeah. Because you get the sweetness, you get some of the lemon, you get some of the mint, you get. It, it all makes a, a really nice green tea. Yeah, yeah. If this was a, a six one that you brought to the table in a package, I would say, mm, I think this is the best one. No lie. I would Katie, have to agree. Do you, do you like it at least? I, I didn't run back to the sink and I haven't had a chase of Jack Daniels, so <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you guys to it and talk about wieners and boobs and stuff again. Scratch your nuts. So, uh. Well. <laughs> have fun with that. So. That was not very posh of you. Uh, <laughs> um, but. So, it didn't really affect my rankings. Arizona is still at the top. Ooh. I, I, I'm kind <laughs> of. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to oversell it now. Just, yeah, yeah. I'll come back. I, I kind of like. I kind of like Granny just for it was very different. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna have to seek this out just so that you I can see it. right there. I was just the shaka man. Uh, Sorry Timothy. That's all right. I like the Seth Janarian. I'm going with Sweet Leaf Green Tea. Granny is good with me. We can maybe have kind of a Harold and Maude kind of that, but weird dynamic going on. I like her a lot. Um, second in place, the runner-up Trade Winds. It's the sweetest of the lot. Um, um, Granny just, I mean, she died of diabetes yet, she's still making Granny is so still kicking, like, man, she's still kicking. Man, she can kick her freaking minty off the cliff and, you know, with her oh, own. Oh, With God. Brian right on there. Uh, yes. this is my show and his show, well, you know, it's my show. He's on the banner. Yeah, I'm on the banner, man. And and every time people click the ads, I'm getting the, the checks come to my house, so I don't know, you know. Is that why they're not coming to me? That's right, yeah. I'll kiss you out a little bit.